Welcome. Oops, I gotta get chat cameras. Technical difficulties. All right, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to Ozren Tales D and D live on Twitch at our new time Saturday nights. A little bit later than what I'd want to start at, but. What can you do? Technical difficulties. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Here we are. I am going to... Grab... Some audio here. All right. Uh, last, uh, let's just say not last time, but the adventure so thus far. Um, a group of heroes came to this small village of Asari in the uh, east coast of the continent of Firon in the elven country of Amirius, roughly centered on the equator, <laughs> in a warm jungle area and a swampy area along the coast um as uh, as the group gets to town they heard various rumors uh a lumber mill had gone mysteriously silent and the town had been uh coming under attack recently by uh some goblins uh the group decided to take on a job to Seek out the goblins, uh, find some information, where were they hiding, what were they planning, all that uh, good stuff. And the uh, group sets off into the swamps to find the goblins. They fight some goblins, they attack and kill the goblins, learn that the goblins are working with undead creatures, zombies and skeletons, which is highly unusual for goblins in this area. Uh, and goblins in general in this world. Um, <clears throat> they rest that night, their first day, out in the field, only to wake up the next morning and two of their five uh, number have gone missing, kidnapped by the goblins in the night. Tracking their companions down, they come to a ghost ship, a wrecked, sailing ship that uh, was held together by ectoplasmic planks and boards and goo kind of just sealing this ship together and it was floating above the ocean about 10 to 20 feet above the ocean nestled in a horseshoe shaped cove of cliffs um Going down to the ship, our heroes, uh, the three that were still <laughs> able to make choices, <clears throat> uh, the two, you know, the three that were not kidnapped, <laughs> they uh, <clears throat> approached the ship <clears throat> and attempted to save their allies but unfortunately the ship was shrouded in a veil of fear causing them to flash into their worst memories <clears throat> eventually the strongest of will our cleric friend damu the turtle broke free of his visions and was able to waken oh, oh sorry awaken everybody else and eventually freed the kidnapped companions and a few other uh, elven, dwarven, and human uh, captives. They escaped the ship and into a watery cave below the surface of the ocean. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, as they popped up into this cave, they found a trail leading deeper in uh, to the rock, uh, into the cliff faces uh, as they were trying to escape the goblins they came across some lizard folk uh, during our last play session 
uh, who happened to be friendly. Uh, they parlayed with the lizards, uh, speaking primarily in Draconic, um, but learned that the lizard folk are the rightful owners of the swamp land uh, that the goblins have recently taken over and started being a nuisance in. Um, and being highly territorial, the and uh, creatures of neutrality, the lizard folk offered uh, an alliance, basically saying that uh, if the adventuring group and their uh, town were uh, in favor of an alliance, that uh, they could work together, both lizard folk and non-lizard folk to come to a sort of um a, a a middle ground right they they would allow the uh the rin kind the the elves the dwarves the humans of this world to enter their territory in order to get rid of the goblin threat uh and once that had uh been taken care of they would be mutually respective of each other's territory um the lizard folk then helped the group uh escape through some tunnels in the caves and get back to the town of asari where they delivered the message to the mayor and the town council uh the the message of uh alliance to the lizard folk and uh since then in the world it's been Roughly 10 days, uh, the group who had been adventuring, um, and those who continue to adventure, have leveled up to level 3, so our group is now level 3. However, uh, there are some changes to our group. Uh, a few of uh, the numbers have, uh, decided to take a bit of a rest, uh, citing uh, a bit of emotional stress to due to the the fear induced hallucinations, and uh, are going to stay back in town. <clears throat> but uh, Reshi, our dragonborn monk, and Damu, our tortle cleric, are going to stay the course. <clears throat> but they are going to need to find some new allies. And uh, as luck would have it, a, uh, a new ship of people is entering into the town uh, this very day. <clears throat> With various uh, adventures and the like uh, aboard said ship. So I will turn it over to you guys now, uh, specifically Reshi and Damu. If there anything that you guys want to do, um, you have not heard back specifically from uh, the town council yet, if they are willing to make a deal with the lizard folk. Um, and again, it's just you guys. So I will let you guys figure out how uh, you want to try and go about finding uh, some new people. It is early in the morning. You've probably just had your breakfast and all of that and getting ready to adventure for the day. <clears throat> well, I would think going to maybe like a pub or something. To the pub. I will travel along with my companion here. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> traveling to the Silver Serpent Tavern down here by the docks. <clears throat> Can show the the map to the people. Um. <clears throat> uh, Traveling, yeah, to the Silver Serpent down here uh, in the docks, uh, you 
find a familiar face. Uh, it is that of Isabel, uh, the captain of the ship uh, from uh, the, the, the very same ship that uh, you guys came in on. Uh, you can see it is docked down here. And uh, she uh, she gives you a nice nod and a wave as you uh, as you come in. <clears throat> um, she may uh, she even uh, half jokingly says uh, to you as uh, she says, uh, "Where's the uh, where's that uh, Arkabot fellow that uh, you're traveling with? I think uh, I think he owes me another bottle." I think he said uh, he'd get me a bottle every time I was in town. <laughs> I would check the blacksmith because I think he's got some bolts loose. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I'll have to do that. <laughs> and then uh, holds, a, holds a finger up to the bartender and he slides her a half full glass of whiskey down the, down the bar. <clears throat> uh, as you look around the tavern, uh, there are, uh, you know, it's a, it's moderately full of people. Um, I would, I'll, I guess I will ask, uh, our new characters, uh, Rowan, uh, Sift, and Fane, you guys, um, probably, I know at least Rowan and Fane would have come in on this boat, uh, Sift, I know we, uh, hadn't discussed how you got to Asari. If you want to be on the boat as well, that's fine. Or maybe you are already here. Uh, but are the are any of the three of you at the tavern? You guys would have uh, just come in off uh, off the ship. I would be <clears throat> editing information. I would be uh, probably at the far end of the bar. Not necessarily arguing, but not fully desperate. Talking to the bartender, looking for work. Looking for work. The um. <clears throat> so yeah, the uh, the bartender. Uh. Pull up the picture of the bartender here. Uh. Like where it is? Ah, oh, here we go. So yeah, it's the uh. Bartender is a uh, remember an elven woman. <clears throat> uh, she's married to uh, the dwarven brewer uh, in the town. I'll blow this up so people can can see. Let's uh... that turkey though. Yeah, that turkey, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, <can> better. <clears throat> she's a. Uh... <laughs> She says, "Ah, oh, yes. Uh, work for the adventuring types." Says, well, we just um, we just had uh, a few adventurers come in not too long ago, about a couple of weeks ago. I know they were working um, with uh, the town council to to suss out the the issues we've been having with with the goblins uh, to the east in the swamps. Um, they've uh, they've been back. Uh, for about a week now, um, as she's saying this, uh, Damu and Resh, you guys walk into the tavern, and uh, she notices you and says, oh, "And uh, as as perchance uh, would have it, uh, they have uh, two of them are here right now." Actually, um, she says to uh, to you, Sift. <clears throat> uh, thank you for your time, and I'll. Toss her a silver and try and get with them as quickly as possible. <clears throat> she says, uh, "No trouble, dear. If you need any, uh, if you need any food, just let me know. And if uh, if we can get you a drink, uh, just let uh, my husband Garth know." <clears throat> shrink, shrink her up. Uh, so yeah, um, Reshi and, uh, Damu, you see, uh, as, uh, as you guys come in, you, uh, you can't really hear what, uh, 
what uh, Maya is saying uh, about you, but she uh, she waves at you and then makes a gesture towards you, clearly talking to uh, this uh, this human looking woman uh, at the bar. <clears throat> I nudge Reshi. Great, more people. Uh, what do you think she was talking about? She obviously motioned to us. I don't know, but if they're pink skins, they can't be good. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Who is she talking to? Uh... I'm going to approach and, and try to introduce myself real quick here. Hi, uh, that's, uh, uh, she, she told me you, you were adventurer types. I'm kind of, kind of, um, I'm looking for work. Uh, I've, uh, was, I was wondering, you, you seem to know the climate around here. I came from Aeneas all in all, right? I just, uh, I need to get some, some work. What kind of work you looking for? Uh, well... Uh, I've, I've been told adventuring pays the best, and uh, I'm in need of coin. It does pay well, but be wary. The ones you'd be replacing have done lost their minds, and that's why they're not with them. Uh, well, I I, uh, I can handle myself, and uh, at the end of handling myself, I will summon to my hand my corkscrew lance. You guys see a, uh, a a ghostly green uh, lance uh, that uh, has a, a rather long haft to it. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't uh, the the lance part of it doesn't go all the way down to like the hand where you think it would, uh, but the uh, the top third to a half of it is a uh, is a giant corkscrew shape. <clears throat> and, uh... I like it. What do you think, Reshi? I don't know. We'll have to see what he's uh, made of. Oops. She might give him a chance. And uh, I, I, I kind of heard you uh, uh, saying you, you, you don't like pink skins much. Uh, I don't. I don't have to look like this. Um, and not not to alarm you much, but. Uh, uh, I am one of the changeling folks. So I I can I can look uh, any any way you like. I don't know. Very nice. Suspicious. I don't know. We'll give you a chance. Just be wary. <laughs> I'll 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 be careful. I'll I'll make sure to show my worth. So you guys try please. not to bleed. So you guys can see, I put a pull a picture up of the of the lance itself. Man, He's a little more feminine look. than I thought he was. As <laughs> <clears throat> a point of reference, it's a she. I just can't do. Yes, female I voices. realize that. <laughs> <laughs> Just pitch your voice up and speak a little softer. <laughs> it's a changeling. It changed its voice. <laughs> that could yeah. be. That's fair. That's very true. <laughs> Maybe it gets stuck with a bush <laughs> voice. <laughs> it's, it's 2020. You can sound however you want. <laughs> that was another adventure in the tavern, right? So we need to uh, strike up a combo with that guy, right? How about if I approach you guys? Let's do it. Well, hello there, guys. I couldn't help but hear that you're going on an adventure. And your boy Rowan just so happens to be looking for some adventuring. See, Are you uh, high? Mm, <laughs> I think he might be a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure. His elven types are kind of hard to read. Uh... Depending on what I say here, am I going to get beat up or... 
I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to get No, I am not. I'm not high right now. Um, I just got off the boat. Um, and I'm I'm looking to make a little bit of a name for myself in this new land. And uh, the best way to do that is to follow strong people and and write tales of their adventures. What would you bring to our uh, adventuresome party? Uh, in my land, we call it the sauce. Ooh. I got that sauce. Basically, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just root you on. I, I don't really, I don't really have much. I, I can't, I can't really help you out much more than that. I have, I, 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 I have, uh, I have some. Uh, I have gold. I have gold. I can give you some gold. Look, I I I can't stay here. I I need to. We need. I need to get out of town. You guys look like you can handle yourselves. Uh, can I tag along? I'll stay out of the way. I'll I'll give you each. What do you say? Ten ten pieces of gold. Ten ten gold. Is that? I I promise. I'll stay out of the way. Ten gold in a song. <laughs> Sounds too. a little desperate. I don't know if we should, uh, maybe let's just humor him. I'm in it for the gold too, so. Tin gold. Tin gold in a song. All right. What do you? I don't. You're putting me on the spot here a little bit. I'm not. I'm not. My voice is not ready. I'm. I've had no tea today. You can't just. Can't just have somebody come out and it's really rude. Maya okay. <laughs> approaches your table and says, "Ah, uh, oh, your your tea is uh, is ready, sir." And uh, puts a <laughs> pot of tea down and a and a, and, a, and a cup for you, Rowan. Thank you, thank you, milady. Um, if not a song, how about how about a taste? After <laughs> she you says, uh, "I'll be right back with uh with you a slice of lemon and some honey." I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Can I get some lemon and some honey? <sighs> um, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, what, what are you guys? What are you guys into? You into you you into the classics? Or we what 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 do you guys what do you guys like? Um, here I got one. I have one. I have one. I'll just give you just a little just a little taste. We won't do much here because I, I I I've known to 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 accidentally blow people's uh, minds <laughs> with. My range. How exciting! My... Oh. Is that okay? That was gorgeous. Can I, can, I, can I join? I can. Let's do it. I'm good with it. Yes. All right, I'm in. Let's go, guys. Well, well, wait a minute. What are we? I don't actually know what you guys are doing. You just look like you knew what you were doing. Oh, that's a good question. I didn't ask either. I just. Uh... <laughs> Hi, I'm a. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm Rowan Jine. At, uh, uh, I guess I'm, I'm at you guys' surprise. service now. Um, yeah. Well, I'm ready to you know, punch your fucking lights out if you mess this adventure up. <laughs> I, I promise I, I won't. I definitely won't. It's not, that's, <laughs> not, that's definitely not going to happen. I'm going to sip this tea now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Damu. I heal when I have to. Which in this group tends to be a lot. <laughs> I, I know, I know a little healing. So in case you guys get into trouble, I might be able to uh, mend mend uh, a wound here and there. See, look, already, already establishing worth. We're good. I'm good. I'm Value. good. Look, look. I'm yeah. I'm. You guys are gonna love me. You're gonna love me. I can tell you right now. All right, so where are we going? What's our, uh, what's our adventure? Uh... Side note, don't we have one more adventure? 
Isn't he here in the bar with us? Yeah, we still Is haven't there? introduced Flav yet. <gasps> Flav, I'm so sorry. Um, you want to get rid of me already. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you guys, uh, as you're as you're discussing uh, your plans uh, with Rowan, uh, you have you do happen to uh, overhear the tail end of a conversation. Um, Fane has just recently entered uh, the bar while you were discussing your things, um, and as you uh, as you discuss. Uh, uh, I should, I should say, as uh, as as Rowan finishes up his song, uh, you guys hear um, uh, Maya. She's over by the door. There's a there's a halfling in a tall hat with a feather in it. Uh, he's wearing a leather duster, and uh, she says, "Ah, yes. Yeah, so I just uh, was telling um, <clears throat> another newcomer to town. Uh, uh, the 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 right over there. Um, you can uh, see that she's pointing at your group." Um, if you have uh, any any questions about uh, the that goings on uh, in town uh, with, with the goblins and things, uh, those those the group over at that table are the ones taking care of of that business for us. Uh, this is I didn't catch your name. Uh, did, was it Detective? Is that Detective Bane? Was that your name? I do believe that would be Inspector. Inspector Fade. Inspector, sorry. <clears throat> Wait, do we, do we get do we get fancy titles? Because I, I want to... I don't, I don't have, like, a title. I'm, just, I'm not aware of any titles. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I, have, I, don't, I don't have one. Just I mean. making sure. I didn't know if I was missing out on something or... All right. Inspector Fade. I would love a title. Is anyone granting them? I mean, I don't know. Um, as, as somebody of the. Uh, never mind. Maybe, maybe I will give it. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, Flav is playing an Inquisitor rogue, so he, he is technically an inspector. <laughs> he, is, he was part of uh, the, de the detective force uh, back in Reneas Alanar, so he, he actually has a job that comes with a title. <laughs> Uh, but yes, uh, Fane, you uh, you see the group. Uh, they're they're talking amongst themselves. Or you you kind of catch them like look over at you, and they see that uh, Maya is motioning uh, at at the group. <clears throat> uh, and they uh, they seem to to kind of eye you. I would I would think a little uh, warily, perhaps, <laughs> as a. Uh, as you stand there, uh, Maya says, uh, "If you if you need any food or or beverage, uh, just uh, just let us know. We can uh, we can bring that over to you." <clears throat> I'm good. <clears throat> can I get some more tea? I'm parched. <clears throat> Maybe some whiskey. I'll drink some Water. whiskey. Let's do it. Water hey, you free, little man. <clears throat> Let's go for it. <clears throat> you, uh, you hear uh, from the back, Did I hear whiskey? <clears throat> and they, uh, out from, out from the back is, uh, is this jolly dwarven gentleman. Uh, the hook for a hand and uh, carrying a a tray of beers. Um, he comes over, uh, puts down an empty, a uh, couple of couple of mugs in front of you guys, and uh, produces a a bottle of some brown liquid from inside of his beard, and uh, puts it on the table in front of you. He and he uh, he looks you dead in the eyes, Rowan. He leans in real close. He gently grabs the back of your neck with the hook and pulls you in close. He says, that's some real strong dwarven shit. You best be careful. And then he lets you go and goes back into the back. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm worried that I just, I just, uh, I just purchased some top shelf 
shit, and I'm in trouble now. Uh, <laughs> are the, am I gonna? <laughs> I'm gonna be broke before we leave the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what adventuring's for. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right. So I, I I I pick up the I pick up this glass, and I take a I take a, a small little huff of it, a little little, little sniff. A sn and you just take it. You take a sniff of it, or take a drink of it. Sniff. I want to. I want to smell. It's been in this man's beard. It's uh. It's beard. I need. I need to get a little. I need to. I'm. I'm cautious. I'm just you, gonna uh, take it from him. If he's gonna sniff it, I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> uh, there's multiple. There's multiple glasses on the table, so you can go and you can grab one. But I'm specifically grabbing his because all he's doing is sniffing it. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. You here. You go first. <laughs> Um, yeah, you, uh, you smell, um, definitely predominant, predominantly alcohol, uh, is, is the smell <laughs> that you get from it, uh, but it is quickly taken from you by this, uh, strange little halfling. Uh, are you, you're just slugging it back? Is it? Yeah, I'll just slug it back. Alright, make a constitution saving throw for me. While I, uh, let me go through and... Strong stuff! Oops, oh. I go through and take off these stats. I have to redo the stat allocations for everybody. I for didn't get around to doing that this week, so let me just take these off real quick. Characters changed, everybody in the audience, so I gotta... Gotta make sure, uh, to redo stats for, for next week. But there we go. <clears throat> As a point of reference, Sift is not going to touch it because she's afraid it might cost more money than she has. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got my ten gold, so. Okay, so she has so ten let's... gold. <laughs> well, all right, there you go. Uh, so you can see here, uh, Fane rolled an eleven Constitution save. Uh, you're you're a small dude, you know. Uh, you've got, you've got, like, the body weight of an eight-year-old. Um, <laughs> this, this... I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. This is some strong <laughs> shit for you, Fane. Um, you are almost instantly, like, tipsy. Like, borderline drunk at this point, just from, from, a you know, you, you definitely, you, like, probably drank, like, two fingers of whiskey, you know, in a rocks glass. So, like, two shots just straight down. Um, that's pretty good shit, you know? Um, it, uh, it's, you know, burns, burns your throat going down, uh, but, uh, it has a nice, you know, cools off on the back end. Uh, Rowan, if you pick up one of the other glasses and, and sniff it, uh, like I said, uh, very, very alcoholic. Very high proof. Um, probably a hundred to a hundred and twenty proof. New small, my new small buddy, <laughs> um, hit it up, and I'm like, yeah, I like this. This is all right. Okay, let's let's go for it. Let's do it. So I I say screw it, and I pick the glass up, and I kick it back. Kick it back. Nice. I really hope um, there's just just a glimmer of beard hair on that cup <laughs> he uh he the, the cups were on the tray it was the bottle of whiskey that he kept in his beard not not the actual glasses um but you uh you you toss it back uh notes of caramel a smoky like maple barrel probably um like probably you know aged well um yeah, it's uh, it's all around. Uh, probably a little, some notes of vanilla. Maybe a little uh, interesting is a cracked black pepper note on the back end. Uh, but you know, it's a, it smooths out. It's real nice. You know, it's definitely dwarven, definitely dwarven uh, whiskey. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, I, um, I, I, I cough a little. Uh. <laughs> Corp looks back and laughs at me. <laughs> he gives a little, just a little, a little sensible chuckle. Did you buy the um, round for everybody? I guess I am. 
I toss it back with no effort at all. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> she has none, none to give on that one. <laughs> Thank you, though. <clears throat> I passed mine off to Reshi. Take it back with no effort at all again. Uh, on the on the second glass, I'm gonna ask you to make a uh, constitution it. save. Damn it! Okay, so how do I do a constitution? Let's let's walk through this. Uh, open up your character sheet. It's open, sir. And oh, this goes horribly wrong. in uh, me too. Should be um, so. Oh, she succeeds with flying colors to the to the right of the numbers you know for your for your main stats where it says like inspiration proficiency bonus and stuff uh, there's a box right there it says saving throws i uh, click the word constitution in there I'll pull up a trying to make a full screen um so you yeah. to the right so i don't know if you have this stream pulled up uh, but it's uh, in this. I do have your stream pulled up. This box right in here. As you click on the word constitution. Mine's all whited out. Okay, let me put it on a different screen. <clears throat> Still not working. But yeah, you're taking. You're basically doing four shots back to back to back to back here. Jeez. For for you for you bigger folk, I was gonna let you uh get by with, with drinking one one glass you know and being being okay. Again, it's also like ten in the morning, by the way. Perfect. Okay, I'm pulling back in my sheet here. Drink. I'm gonna pull I just got off the boat. Again. I'm good. This was more than enough. <laughs> Darth, Darth Gutblaster, the the brewer, the guy who brought you the the whiskey, definitely, definitely likes your guys' style. Give Coming me another in. shot of what that looks like again on your stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, right, So right, back. right here in this box, uh, the word Constitution. If you just click on. Look on that word, Constitution. Okay, you're talking about shot of the... <laughs> <laughs> There's... The one that's poured for Sif is still on the table, and I'm not touching it. I'm I have no Constitution. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. There you go. Uh, are you drinking Sif's as well? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, so with a fifteen and seventeen, you uh, you are inebriated, but you're 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 handling your liquor. Hell yeah! Uh, I told at this you. Point. I told you. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not like falling down or anything. You definitely you definitely know how to handle a drink. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> it's that uh, draconic uh, resilience, as it were. I'm like six foot five, of course. Uh, you're six foot five and you've just done six shots of like a <laughs> hundred and twenty proof whiskey <laughs> well if you couldn't breathe fire before now you can <laughs> yeah, it's ice, ice and fire <laughs> fire and ice <clears throat> do we get a song anyone anyone for the pun <laughs> I was looking that. at looking at you, Ron. I, I, I already I already did my song. My throat, my throat, I need more tea. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, 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 folks. Uh, I do have a a, a mighty need for coin. Um, so, uh, what 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 work is there? What are we what are we what are we doing? <clears throat> Jeff, uh, what were we waiting on the city council to agree on? Uh. The uh, city council was discussing the uh, possibility of working with the lizard folk. Um, um, so as I, was, as I was mentioning last week, lizard folk are highly territorial. Um, they are a true neutral uh, race of creatures, meaning that... Uh, they, uh, like I said, 
highly territorial. They don't really care who's in their territory. Uh, they'll they will attack them, you know, stalk them, hunt them. Uh, they'll eat sentient creatures. You know, they'll eat a human or an elf just as quickly as they'll hunt and eat a deer. Um, so basically, the uh, the idea and the reason why um, it's uh, it's taking a little bit longer than you might think for them to kind of come to an uh, terms with going you know back to the lizard folk with like an agreement to actually work together is like well if we work with these people then once the goblins are gone like what's to stop them from just turning on us immediately you know like that kind of thing let's <clears throat> uh you guys can actually if you want you can go talk to the the town council <laughs> At this well, point, it... as the new inspector, maybe I could make those decisions. Uh, yeah, or not. You'd have some... <laughs> you'd at least uh, have some I've, say. I've, I've, I'm just hanging out right now, so you guys... Uh, this, this drink... Um, yeah. <laughs> and then the other... we Were we um, told about the lumber mill issue? Uh, yeah, it's been mentioned to you a couple of times. Uh, so the, the lumber mill, uh, up the, uh, I want to say up the coast, but it's kind of up a river that turns into the coast. So let me, uh, pull this up on screen here. And um, the actual issue is that lumber hasn't been coming in, correct? Correct. Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, I, so. I accidentally hit a button on my guitar. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> worries. Uh, so for the for the stream viewers, um, they uh, they're currently in this little village here of Asari, much much bigger on this map than what it actually is in real life. Um, they uh, the goblins control this peninsula out here with the. With a skull at the top end of it. There's a ghost ship over here. Uh, so the goblins are all over here. And the lizard folk. This is their territory. This peninsula. Um, the lumber mill is up this road. This dotted road over here. Uh, I get Like I said. I want to say it's up the coast. But this is like a giant ass river. right? That feeds into the Celestine Bay. And then out into the uh, Athatas Sea. Um, I didn't want to say up the river, because there is a river that runs through this town as well, <laughs> right? So it's a little confusing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this lumber mill, this, this sawmill town up here is, uh, has been dark, uh, for almost a month now. Uh, including the time that you guys got here and, uh, spent adventuring in the swamps and, uh, the ten days it took you guys to level up. <clears throat> Okay, so Reggie has to be right back in like 15 minutes. Okay. But I will not shut my cam off. I'll just be right back. I have uh, little tiny dragons put to bed. <laughs> no worries. <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm going to um, tell the group. Um, well, while we wait on the town council to decide if we're gonna team up with the lizard folk or not. I've been hearing word that there's no lumber coming from the lumber mill. And there's some coin and figure that. Uh, I'm game. I, I, uh, I, I, I think that'd be a great plan. I know we have a, an investigator with us, so uh, probably figure it out pretty quickly. Sounds like easy coin. Sounds like a story. <laughs> Count me in. You had an, an investigator with you. I think Flav just got up as well. Well, okay, a little less of a story, um, but I could probably fill in the. <laughs> I could probably fill in the gaps. <laughs> I I haven't met anyone here, but I can fill in the gaps. Um, I can uh, I can fill in a little bit of information here while Flav is AFK. Um. He, one of the things, one of the, he, he has just been reassigned 
um, to Asari uh, from the, the city of Reneus Alinar, which is uh, across the Celestine Bay uh, over here. And um, one, of the, one of the things that he had been briefed on uh, was this sort of uh, both the goblins and uh, the, the, what they are assuming are missing lumber mill workers. Um, also a missing group of people who left, uh, Asari to go to the lumber mill and find out what was going on. Uh, those guys, uh, those guys, um, that group of people left Asari, uh, a couple of days, uh, before the original party, uh, came to Asari. So they've been gone for about two and a half weeks and um <clears throat> they uh when you guys got here one of the things that you had heard about is that this group that went to check on the lumber mill um has also uh not contacted uh anybody um back in town or anything like that um granted uh this is a small town they don't have a uh, a cleric that can cast, you know, sending or you know anything like that. Um, they might have had like a scroll of sending or perhaps uh, a sending stone that could contact a specific other sending stone. Um, you're not sure about that. You don't have um, specifics on that aspect, uh, but. Uh, but yeah, Flav's character would have known about both the goblin problem and the uh, the missing um, people in the lumber mill. Both the actual lumber yard itself and the group that was uh, sent to check on them. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, so Flav's back now. You are back. He's being... Yeah, the inspector's returned. Well then, I I, I, I think uh, the mill we go, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Let's go to the mill! I, I would like to first inspect this town to see what kind of criminal organizations are actually inhabiting this town. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can I, uh, I guess, assist him on that? Because I would, I would know the criminal foundations here. Uh, sure. Go ahead, Flav. Uh, give me a uh, investigation roll with advantage. Um, or if uh, if your charisma is better than your intelligence, uh, you can go ahead and uh, give me like persuasion, deception, something along those lines. All right, a uh, a sixteen in an investigation. Uh, you um, you check your dossier. Uh, you uh, your uh, your new companion is uh, seemingly very open about their criminal history with a uh, with a with a with an investigator for uh, <laughs> uh, whatever reason and. Um, you are uh, you're you're fairly certain that uh, any criminals in oops uh, any criminals in the town of Asari proper um, is are not going to be organized crime. Uh, Asari is very young as a town. It's uh, only been uh, you know established less than a year ago. Um, you know, they they got their, you know, they got their problems like anybody else, right? Um, you know, teenagers, you know, stealing stuff from marketplaces or vandalizing things just because they're, you know, young and rambunctious. Um, so where can I find the, um, uh, the fence? There's gotta be a fence. A fence? Come on, there has to be a fence. Uh... You know, like a person to sell stolen goods? 
Yes, offense. Uh, back in Reneus, <laughs> Alinar, honestly. <laughs> this town isn't uh, quite big enough, I don't think, for because it's a frontier town, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it is a it is a frontier town. Honestly, um, like straight up, let me I'll bring you guys back to the town map. Um, this this is the town. Like the the buildings that you see here are the buildings in the town. <laughs> like well, it I is small. Would I have had the time to introduce myself as the new inspector? Or should um, I do that before I leave? Uh, yeah, you should, you should probably check in with the mayor and uh, okay. the town council. Well, all right, I need to do that before we leave then. Was he hired as the new inspector or is he just coming up to him and be like, Hey, I'm the new inspector. I'm hired. <laughs> I'm legit. <laughs> it's in my bio. <laughs> yeah, he was um he was was hired in quotation marks. He was reassigned here. <laughs> <laughs> Away from my kids and my mother. <clears throat> uh so yeah, you um you make your way uh from the tavern across town uh to the mayor's house uh to meet with him. Uh, a few members of the town council are there. Uh, not the whole town council, but, uh, uh, <clears throat> what's, uh, his name, uh, Thalarian is there. Uh, the, uh, now the head blacksmith, um, of the town, because, uh, the, the uh, former adventurer David, the Warforge, uh, is now, uh, the apprentice blacksmith. At uh, the blacksmith shop, uh, Valerian is there, and a um, a man that you have not met yet um, uh, in any uh, of your iterations of characters, uh, <clears throat> who was introduced to you as Jethro Gorkat. He is the uh, dock master, um, <clears throat> uh, but the, uh, the dock master Jethro and Valerian. And, uh, the mayor, who we still do not have a name for yet, so anybody in chat who, uh, might have the channel points, uh, for it, uh, feel free to pop in a preferably serious name. Um, <laughs> we don't, uh, we don't want too many butt mcfart faces in the game if uh but you know what whatever happens happens i suppose <laughs> i heard and, his uh, name was mayor mcmud uh mcmuddy bottom but that was just somebody talking on the boat so i don't know mayor mcmuddy yeah, bottom. Back, yo. <laughs> welcome back we're just talking about mayor mcmuddy uh muddy bottom well, i saw my husband's <laughs> suggestion and then fbi <laughs> body inspector indeed um, so we'll go with McMuddy Bottom for now. Uh, and, uh... <laughs> it's just what they said on the boat, man. I don't know. Don't don't tell him I said that, because I don't know if that's true or not. And I'm not... Here. I'm trying to I'm trying to lay low until we get out of town here. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, uh, Fane, uh, you, you head over to the mayor's house. Uh, he introduces you to Falarian, the, like I said, the head blacksmith, and, uh, Jethro Gorkat, the, uh, the, uh, the, the dock master here in Asari. <clears throat> and, uh, they welcome you, uh, to town. They, uh, they were expecting you. Uh, obviously, because you were reassigned here. This, um, <clears throat> is not news to them that you would be arriving. Um, <clears throat> uh, if, if there's any questions that you would like to ask of them, uh, feel free to ask uh, otherwise i'll just say that uh, they kind of give you the rundown on things uh, as to what has happened i know you've been here for most of our sessions so uh, if there's anything your character wants to ask like specifically to ask, let me know i'd like to ask what uh what i'm being paid what you're being paid uh oh, you get uh, you get paid on a uh 
mostly on a case per case basis uh but your quote unquote salary um is uh they are there is a uh, lodgings uh for you um in town uh no no food just a house just just a bed and a place to sleep <laughs> Food, um, food and equipment are gonna be up to you, uh, to purchase with, uh, with your, with your payments for the crimes that you solve. Uh, and the, uh, the actual payments for the different crimes and things, um, uh, mysteries are solved. Are there any crimes that maybe I can solve on this side? <clears throat> um, Maybe. Let's, uh, let's roll a die here. Should I roll uh, it? No, I, I I just rolled it. I have a I have a die here. Uh, I can roll off camera <laughs> for secret rolls. Um. <clears throat> uh, they say uh, that uh, the uh, the only thing that would really need to be investigated. Uh, are primarily the the two things that we've already talked about um but um there's also been uh in the farmlands on the outskirts of town uh they're not exactly sure what's been going on uh some of the scarecrows have been seemingly vandalized but they uh nobody knows if it's like wild animals attacking them or if uh it's actual vandalism from like bored kids or whatever uh that's what that's what the the mayor just assumes is automatically he's just like and it's probably just some you know kids probably like the farmers own kids and they're just like you know not wanting to do their chores so as they're out in the fields they decide to kick over the the scarecrows or something but uh, the scarecrows have been um moved some of sometimes they're um, a little worse for wear. Sometimes they're just laying on the ground. Um, nothing, nothing too major. Uh, just a minor annoyance, as far as any everyone in, involved is concerned. Uh, but it, you know, at the same time, it is something strange that is going on that might warrant some attention. My chance to start up. <laughs> it very well could be. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, other than that, they uh, they let you know that uh, the lumber mill has been quiet. Uh, the group they sent to check on the lumber mill has not reported back, even though uh, they did actually send a uh, ascending stone with them. Uh, they've tried reaching them on the ascending stone, which he hands to you. Uh, so feel free to write down. Uh, in your inventory, a sending stone. Um, you do not have the pairing one, uh, but uh, you. Uh, it's basically like a walkie-talkie that's only paired with another walkie-talkie. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he also mentions how um, they are uh, still in uh, negotiations with each other about whether or not to trust the lizard folk. Uh, to help them defeat uh, the goblin threat or if uh, they um, <clears throat> are uh, gonna try and just have the adventurers in town take care of it themselves so I'd like to initiate some kind of conversation with the lizard folk if a dragonborn might have some kind of way with them because she's sort of in the same kind of class or I, I think so. you probably have clout. I mean, you know, um, just kind of go up and I'm a dragon, you're a lizard. Like, could we talk about maybe figuring out a way to help you? Uh, for sure. Scales, you... you got scales. Let's... <laughs> exactly, let's scale together. Um, I will say, um, since, uh, since you weren't here last week when we actually talked to the lizard folk, um, <laughs> Damu did take point on the conversation, but, uh, in in the in-game world, uh, I believe Reshi was giving him advantage on some checks because all three of those groups of people—Dragonborn, Tortles, and uh, 
and lizard folk all speak dragon uh dragon right. kin or whatever the draconic that's the that's the word draconic draconic <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you, uh, if you guys wanted to go out and, uh, try and find the lizard folk again, you can do that. Uh, there was talk of you guys heading to the lumber mill, but, uh, which either way you go, um, uh, just let me know. No, I can go to lumber mill. I just want to kind of get into some combat, you know, whatever direction that leads us into. I'd like to do that. <laughs> I want to, I, I, I want to go. I think the lumber mill is going to have that. I want to okay. go parlay with the lizards with my fists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to go punch him into an alliance. I just want to play songs and be nice. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we're getting paid. If we're getting paid. The wrong adventure party. If we're getting, All right, if we're getting paid, then, then I might I might be able to smash somebody. Do we, do we need new mounts? Uh, if you guys want to get mounts, uh, you can. Only two of them survived the last excursion into the swamps. I, uh, I, uh, um, I, I, I'll walk. I, I, uh, I can't, I can't afford. I'll take piggyback on that. Well, yeah, I can't afford a mount either. You could ask for your <laughs> reward, though. I mean, and then... Reward for what? Yeah, we haven't done nothing yet. The goblins, you all save... They're playing different characters, bud. All right, so we're going lumber mill. Reshi's not... Yeah. That's true. Someone jump I, on my back. Money. I'll give you a ride to the I'm, lumber mill. Free they're account. not letting me leave the bar until I pay. <laughs> I thought you were Mr. Moneybags. I mean, I got, I got, I got money for the drinks, but I gotta pay. Okay, I'm gonna pay my ten gold to help him pay up his tab. First tea. Uh, yeah, he drank a lot of tea. Uh, I mean, let me. I don't drink that much tea. I drink a lot of tea. Let me, let me attempt to slide a pan here. That's fine. You're talking to the mayor, friend. I know. So you're not at the bar. <laughs> so I'm paying my ten gold. Does that help pay up the bar tab? Um, yeah, 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 you yeah. pay you pay the ten gold and they give you eight gold change. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're you're good. Lemon wedges are expensive. Well, well, you she's did, out here flexing with that ten gold. You did. Uh, <laughs> you did just drink like a good portion of a bottle of very expensive dwarven whiskey. Still kicking, yeah, bro. Yeah, that, that, that's on me. Um, <laughs> I have one hundred ninety-five gold, so. Um, I guess uh, I throw. Yeah. I throw them. I throw them. Uh, I throw them. 70 pieces and say we're good right yeah no, no i paid you, up your tea tab i paid up your tea tab yeah she she already paid for it the the prices in this world are uh not that lower. they're a lot lower than that but <laughs> you are one of the richest people in this town right now you're oh, solid shit. as fuck dude yeah okay well then like an an ale costs like a copper Oh, in my land, it's 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 way more than that. So, look, I'll throw him. I'll throw him. I'll throw. A, I'll throw him a fifteen. Just tip piece. him. Yeah, just tip him. Throw him a 15, 15 gold, and be like, making it rain. I gotta go now. <laughs> All right, hop on my back. Hop on my back. I'm gonna take you for a ride to the lumber mill. Well, Let's I don't go. know about. Look, I don't know if I, I don't want to ride you. I just met you. <laughs> don't talk. Oh my gosh. I'm married. I'm a married dragon. Hold on a second. I want to ride. We just met. Hop on. I, I don't know. Somebody I'll, wants to get on the back of this dragon. I'll, I'll walk. I'm good. I'm fairly convinced <laughs> I'm too heavy. I get like yeah, you're a 400 pound tortoise. Yeah, she's you're... six foot five. She can carry a couple people. I get free sneak attacks. You, you know what? About? I've I've been on that boat a long time. I've been on that boat <laughs> a real long time. I think I'm gonna stretch my legs out. <laughs> that wasn't that was not an offer it was just get on my back it's a piggyback ride well it is it, i will say it is a multiple day journey so everybody will have a chance to ride piggyback if they wish <laughs> um, do they have any mastiffs here i can get uh do they have a mastiff uh, that's a good question like, could we question. take a boat to the lumber mill or do we have to walk there 
Uh, you would not be able to take a boat to the lumber mill yet. Um, you, uh, you have heard rumors, um, that they might be planning a, uh, a water vader. Let me bring you guys back to the map here. Um, if you guys look at, uh... So the lumber mill is up this way from Asari. The little dotted path is a road that heads up here. Um, this kind of dark black line here is the edge between the land and uh, this river that comes down here. Uh, this is a giant waterfall. So ships could probably come down and then crash over the waterfall. <laughs> and if they survived, they could follow the coast down to Asari. Safe voyage, yes. Um, but uh, yeah, you've you've heard that there's possibly a water vader being built here, like a lift that can take ships up and down safely. Uh, but currently, uh, what happens is um, they send the logs down river, um, and uh, they just fall over the cliffs, and then there is a uh, a group of like there's a little camp down here uh, that uh, uses boats to funnel the uh, the logs down the coast, basically to Asari. What's this? What's uh? Oh, that is a cave. I want to go there. There's another cave over here, south of yeah, Asari. In the opposite direction. Yeah. No. But yeah. Yeah. That that is a cave. <clears throat> okay, so who's hopping on? Me. Let's go. Or, or is there a mastiff uh, breeding thing here? Oh, yeah, bigger than a mastiff. Uh, the stables currently does not have a mastiff, but uh, they could potentially get one in town for you. You could requisition one as a. Yeah, like, uh, Uh, Which I'm assuming will not be there before we leave. No, yeah. You guys, it sounds like you guys are prepping to head out of town within the day or maybe on the morrow, as they would say. Um, what? Let me see if there is a. Grab some just food. as a quick. Um, so here's a here's a goal for money. A uh, mastiff will cost you twenty-five gold. Um, so you can have uh, you can have one brought to, oops, uh, you can have one brought to town for you uh, on the next ship. Uh, that should be back in about two weeks' time. Can I have two of them brought and have them mate so I don't have to pay for more mastiffs? Um. Yeah. Are you going to side set up a business of mastiff mating in Asari? That's an interesting thought. He's gonna be a dog breeder. Mastiff milk. Mastiff milk. Adopt. Oh. What? Yeah. Why did I? Mill. Think you... She said mill, not milk. Mill. Mil oh, mil. a mastiff mil. Like puppy milk. A yeah. mill. Oh. I thought you said milk. I was like, why would no. you sell no dog milk? milk. <laughs> it might be healthy. I don't Boy, know. Dragons are fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> you drink the dog milks. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a new canon insult right there. <laughs> <laughs> you dr you drink dog milk. Good lord. That way, I would have an endless supply of milk. Get me out of this. What is happening? <laughs> What All is right. going uh, on? Back on track here, guys. Let's so if do I'm it. ordering that, that would be 35 per dog, right? Uh, it would be 25 per dog, so 50 gold to get to All right, them. so how many yeah. days will it take us to get to the mill, is my question. Uh, it's about... And... It's about a week and a half. It's a... Jeez. Massive mill, right? Don't trust yeah. him, though. Don't trust massive him. Massive mill. what he says. So they're they're breeding dogs, apparently. Yeah, Flav wants to start a puppy mill. Um, in fairness, a only puppy one person is breeding 
breeding dogs. Breeding? It's just one person, right? <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's... You want to breed them with me? You can pitch in if you want. <laughs> this is so wrong. Uh, D and D we... is so weird sometimes, you guys. The thing is, though, is that since you're an elf, I don't know if you will get to ride them like I will. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm... I don't. Yeah, I don't want to ride the enough. dogs. I don't want to ride the dogs. That's terrible. I, I'm using it as a mount. <laughs> Yeah, he's a he's a half. He's a dwarf, right? Yeah, he doesn't he won't hurt the dog. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a halfling. He's a halfling. He's like three feet tall at best. I ca I kind of want to let the dogs go. I do too. I agree. Let's go free the dogs. <laughs> they the don't dogs have don't exist yet. This is they don't have Both. dogs yet. <laughs> you guys, the dogs. The D and D Peta is here. <laughs> if. If he gets mastiffs, they'll be here in two weeks because they have to be brought to town. They don't we have. We could make it here. to the lumber mill without waiting two weeks for your mastiff, dude. Yeah. Just jump on my tail. I'm already on your tail. I'm ordering. There we go. Let's fucking ride. If, if, if I if I have to ride Reshi to not have to to mess with the the poor breeded mastiffs, then I think you're all confused. You're gonna go to the lumber mill, and by the time you get back. You will make some money for investigating what's going on and hopefully solving whatever the mystery is. And with the money you make, Flav is going to buy the ma at least a single Mastiff, which oh, no, he's no, ordering gonna... from the stables <laughs> the right now. The thing is, is I actually have enough to go ahead and send off for it. So I was going to go ahead and take it out of what I have. Fair enough. So yeah, uh, you, you buy a Mastiff mount... That will be here when you guys get back from the lumber mill. <laughs> two. Two. Either way. Let's roll, dude. You, Let's roll. If there's any if there's anything like rations or adventuring equipment, uh, you guys know where it is in the book. Chapter five, feel free to buy what you need with the money that you have. Just be honest. Tick off your gold. And um, <clears throat> we will adventure forth. Um, <clears throat> I don't really think I need anything. It is. Uh, we are approaching the halfway mark here for our game. So as we leave the small little town of Asari, I'm going to call for a, let's say, a 10-minute break. So let's say we'll be back roughly around a quarter of... Welcome back for the break. Uh, we are setting off from Asari, heading uh, up the uh, up river to the logging camp, uh, the sawmill. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to jump right into it. Um, you guys uh, decided to head out on foot. Um, it is. Uh, I, I have uh, I've done some rolls off off camera. Uh, it is a relatively well-traveled trail, uh, so you guys don't have to worry too much about, uh, like, random encounters and things like that. Uh, but um, uh, as you guys approach the waterfall, uh, you, uh, you've traveled for about ten days or so. And, uh, or not ten days, sorry. You have traveled about half of that. You've traveled about five days. <clears throat> and uh, you come uh, to a, uh, a relatively fancy doorway in the uh, cliff face near uh, the uh, uh, near the waterfalls uh, that's heading up. And uh, you can see a small little offshoot. Um here there's a little statue um go ahead and make uh, a perception check you guys can either choose one person to make the perception check with advantage uh or you can all roll perception if you wish uh, again sorry guys i'll give it a shot just uh open your character sheet and click the word perception that's in the uh, list of skills there I'll even do it the normal way. Oops. Mine's at 14, so y'all just play off of whatever you want to do. I'm taking whatever. My perception's at 3, so probably not a, a 
Brandon's at 21. Let's I think that's pretty good. Yes, I also Ooh, me and Sam got it. Too. Wow. 14, 21, 21, 8. So, uh, do I need to roll? Uh, you can if you wish. You could I roll. make a difference. Just perception. hit perception on your uh, uh, character sheet. So, yeah. Ah, um, okay. Yeah, and that longer list yeah. of acrobatics, Ooh. animal stuff, animal handling, all that stuff, you hit the perception. Put there the higher go. one there. 20. Oh. Okay, so we have 21 and 21. 21, 21, and 20. Yep. <laughs> So half the party yeah, is probably going to notice something. And a 14 and an 8. The irony of the investigator not noticing something. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you you see, uh, I'll say Brandon, sorry, reading names off the actual list here, uh, Damu and... Uh, sift you see kind of down here uh, behind this wall kind of in this little offshoot uh, here uh, you see uh, a foot I didn't see your writing or drawing there uh, so yeah I didn't me, either let me use oh, so there behind, it is. Yep, yeah, behind this uh I was just motioning with my mouse, assuming you were looking at my <laughs> my stream like a dumbass. Uh, <laughs> so I was looking at the map at as that if the time. as if the person was maybe leaning against this wall out uh, that goes into the outcropping here where the statue is. Um, you can see just a foot kind of peeking out uh, from behind this, as if someone was uh, like I said, kind of sitting along the along the wall. What kind of foot? What does it look like? Uh, it looks to be humanoid, roughly the size of like a human and elf. Uh, perhaps a dwarf with a really skinny ankle. <laughs> uh, you know, dwarves okay. got big feet. So but, me, uh, my foot. Okay. Uh, it would it would not look like Reshi's foot. Uh, Reshi's got like <laughs> dragon scale. I meant know. in real life, but okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your foot in real life. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty short. Like any of our well, feet uh, in real life. <laughs> I will, uh, I will call out at a loud volume, uh, <clears throat> and at the same time, I will summon my corkscrew lance and uh, come out, or we will force you out. I would, I would also like to. Um, yeah, you can, you can be stealthy if you want to roll a stealth check. Um, as you, uh, as you call out. Uh, however, Silth, we're waiting for a uh, stealth check here. <laughs> 11. Um, you are moderately stealthy. Um, it is, you know, it's daytime, so there's not, like, shadows for you to, like, sneak around in. But, you know, there's, like, you can crouch down by the wall and uh, on this on this little bit of a bridge here and whatnot. Um, but as you call out, uh, you do not get a response. Um, you also, the, the foot, uh, doesn't seem to react, like, it doesn't pull in real quickly, like, as if they're trying to hide or anything like that. Uh, I want to, I want to use, uh, investigate and perception to sniff the air. Uh, that would be perception specifically. Yeah, you can use, perception like, a perception roll. To see if it's a dead body. Uh, with a six, uh, you are, I'm going to say you're not close enough to the body. Uh, also you smell the, uh, the, uh, the very, uh, you smell like the cold on the air of the waterfall that's right there. Um, you know, you can smell, uh, kind of coming up from the bottom, the, uh, kind of a faint salt smell. Um, as a as the water's churning below you, this brackish uh, mix of fresh water from the river and the waterfalls kind of mix and churn the salty seawater below. Um, but yeah, you do you do not get any uh, 
specific note of, of dead body uh, from the distance that you're at with a, with a six. So I'm going to fire an Eldritch Blast. I, I circled it in purple there and okay. hit that pillar to see if the, the foot moves at all. Can you target objects with Eldritch Blast? I don't see why not. It's the spell is any other. Um, I'll check that out after game. Uh, you fire your Elders Blast at uh, the the little rock statue kind of thing. Uh, break the uh, the top of it off, kind of shattering it, uh, sending stones pouring down over the other side. Uh, again, the uh, the foot does not uh, seem to move in response. Guys, I think it's a dead body. <laughs> okay, well, let's move forward and find out. Let's light it on fire. Sorry. Let's uh, let's um, uh, uh, see what's up with that. I can I can see a foot there, and there they don't they don't, they don't appear to be. Uh, can uh, I responding. roll perception? Uh, yeah, if you want to roll another perception check, you can. Can I roll another perception check? Uh, no. <laughs> That was crap. <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight. Uh, with with your eight, yeah. Again, you, without moving closer to the body, uh, you, you cannot uh, determine what is going on here. Uh, so I'll put this up here. Uh, it is uh, a guy. Uh, he uh, that. Uh, let me hold on a sec. Let me do this. I want to pull my daggers out before we go. There you go. <laughs> no eyes. Uh, he he is indeed dead. Um, uh, I'll give uh, for uh, for being an investigator. Uh, go ahead, Flav. Give me an uh, investigation roll with advantage on this. Uh, this has now become a crime scene, as far as you're concerned. <clears throat> Sorry about the pillar. <laughs> wow. Wow, we're doing really good right wow. now. Wow. Uh, well, you know that he's dead. <laughs> uh, you know that he's dead. Uh, you're a good enough investigator um, that you know not only is he dead, this man uh, has definitely succumbed to traumatic injuries. Um, you know that he's been dead for a few days. Uh, you're not exactly sure how long off the top of your head. Definitely over a week, though. Uh, definitely over a week. Um, I'm going to use sleight of hand to try and pickpocket anything that he has left. Before everybody Ew. <laughs> uh, with your, uh, with your sleight of hand, you do manage to, uh, pickpocket him. Uh, you find... A, uh, you find a small stone uh, that looks identical to the stone that you were given by the uh, by the mayor. Um, it's the same size and shape, and it even has the same uh, arcane symbol on it, and in in, even in the same color. Before I finish, is there anything else that I find? Um. Let me take a look here. At Give me some uh, while they're yeah. investigating this dead body, I'm going to be not necessarily going away from the party. I'm just looking up the pathway into that waterfall area. The other avenue of approach, basically. So what if I, I just want to go into the uh, entrance? I just like say, screw that. I'm going to go to... Yeah, you can totally do that. But you're gonna miss out on all the RP. Uh, it is dark in there. I'm not sure if you have dark vision as a dragonborn. Um, I'm not sure either. I have dark vision 120 feet. I can come help. If somebody's going up to it, I'm going with them. But it was one of those just gonna watch out. Very uncomfortable. You don't find dead bodies very often. 
Well, I kind of want to go in because I'm like, why is there a dead body out here? Let's just go in. <laughs> from what I've read, every from what I've read, everyone except humans, halflings, and dragonborn have dark vision. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> the shaft. Your Question. Meter. Can I can can I use my water? Can I fill my water skin up real quick on on the side of the the mountain here? Yeah. I have enough. Can I? Can I? Can I? I just. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can fill up your water skin. You know that the water skin. coming down from the uh, the waterfalls is fresh water, so that's uh, okay, that's I'm fine. Fill my water skin up. Yeah. Where the heck did I put this? I know I had notes on this. Someone. More loot. Um, well, it's not what I intended, but, uh, sure, for the sake of continuing the game, uh, quickly, I really have no idea where I stuck these goddamn notes. Um, I had, like, a whole thing written about this guy. DM life. Right? You know, it's probably, like, in a Google Doc somewhere, and I just don't. In your where. Dropbox? Probably. Along with my backgrounds folder. Um, but yeah, I'll just say uh, the only thing else he has on him uh, is a, a mysterious note uh, that you cannot make head or tails of. Uh, it says... Uh, the note says... The obelisks are gone when you look away. Sleep well, they too have teeth. Does it look like the statue out on that balcony area mm -hmm. has been moved recently? Uh, like, is there any disturbance of the just regular particulate of... of Whatever you... came over the waterfall on it. Other than you blew it up? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't hit. I didn't blow up the statue. I just hit the. He hit like the. the, column, the yeah, the column. Yeah, right here. Oh. Um. You can make an investigation roll if you want to right, investigate sure. that. Can I get that repeated? The obelisks are gone when you look away. Uh yeah yeah yeah. One sec. Uh, obelisks are gone when you look away. Uh, that's a sentence, and then it says, uh, "Sleep well." Colon, they too have teeth. That's an 11, boss. Uh, an two. 11. Uh, you, uh, you can't really tell. Everything kind of gets covered in wet <laughs> and mist yes. and, and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> but uh, as far as, like, checking out that, like, the stone around it... Um, it doesn't seem uh, that there are like any scratches or anything like uh, on the kind railings of of any kind. or anything. Nah. Yeah, as far as you can tell, there's like no scratches or anything up over here. Um, in front of it, there's um, uh, one ever burning candle. Uh, you can tell it's uh, magical just by looking at it. There's like arcane symbols and stuff painted on the candle. Uh, also, there's, like, no pooling wax, but clearly there's a flame in all of this wet <laughs> that's still burning. Uh, there's a little bit of a shrine. Um, it seems as though uh, this is one of, uh, like, a f you've, you've probably seen these uh, around. Sure. Uh, it's is a... Yeah, it is... If I can uh, grab the name here real quick for you. Uh, I'll be right back, like 15 seconds. I'll be right yep. back. Um, this would be the... Uh, where is... Oh, here we go. Uh, this is a, a small traveler's shrine. Uh, okay. and of course my Google Doc wants to fucking... Uh, when they get back, I'd like to holler at them for a second to gather them up. <laughs> Everybody. Oh god. 
Um, <clears throat> I rotate my phone and then my freaking Google Doc just fucking messes up. Hold on a sec. Uh, at any rate, it's the whatever the elven god of uh, travel is. Okay. In this world. <laughs> Yeah, Sif Sorry, was just interested know. to see if it had moved after the note. That's about it. So she, she will return to the uh, the group there and look down the tunnel for when we're ready for that bit. There we go. Uh... Uh... Did I find any gold on the person? Ah, here we go. Let's scratch that. Um, the name is uh, Liuel, uh, the goddess of rivers and oceans. That makes sense. So, if you want to... That's an L, apostrophe, Y, U, L, L. There. Put it in chat if you want to. I... I don't know if you keep notes with him. Did I find any extra gold on the person? Nope. He has no. He had no money on him. He had the strange uh, slip of paper uh, soaked, but it had uh, was it had permanent like ink in it. It was well, like semi permanent. It was starting to bleed a little bit, but it, uh, it was mostly legible. Uh, can't you don't know what it means? Um, you don't know if it's a warning. You don't know if it's maybe a passcode. If it's part of an incantation you have no idea what the words mean um but uh you you can tell uh this dude has suffered like deep deep cuts from something jagged but also sharp <clears throat> and that's about it i mean you didn't really investigation didn't really can anything out uh, but he's got some big slashes on his body obviously he's missing an eye um he is uh also we can uh can we check me. under the body uh yeah you can you can move the body uh, give me uh give me an investigation check there rowan let's see here Ten. Ten. Um. <clears throat> while I'm uh, while I'm googling something, uh, what is it that you're in thinking you might find under the body? I, I I have no clue. I'm just curious. There's something under the body. I'm trying. I'm helping. I'm trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the help. Let's see. I'm helping. Um. <laughs> so as you uh, as you move the body, you can tell that he is bloated uh, at this point. Um, there are uh, his screen, his skin. Um, uh, you can tell he's not an orc. His skin is sort of greenish, um, turning sort of to like a reddish brown color. Um, and uh, as you move the body, um, it lets off just the worst smell you have ever smelled in your life. Oh, this. Uh, yeah, regret way, regret way worse than the body. I regret touching the body. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's, there's nothing on him, underneath him. He wasn't like, you know, sitting to protect anything. Uh, it looked like this dude had suffered some pretty bad injuries. Um, you think yeah, I... that uh, the, the water and the mist and stuff has probably washed away a lot of uh, whatever evidence may have been here. Uh, but yeah, this dude is like, he's, he had some pretty deep cuts, uh, to his chest in, uh, kind of, uh, deltoid, clavicle, collarbone area. Uh, he, his, he was missing an eye that had been 
hastily and poorly bandaged, uh, but with one of his sleeves of his shirt, he just like ripped off the sleeve of his shirt to turn into a, a bandage. Um, it seems as though this guy uh, just couldn't travel any further. Um, sat down to rest by uh, the shrine of a elven god and uh, eventually expired about eight to ten days ago. Can I take the other eye? Uh, yeah. I guess. I've already rolled a slide of hand, so. Yeah, you take out the other gut, the other eye. Okay. So, who wants to go in with this awesome... <laughs> He's human, right? Beginning. I do. Yeah, he's I'll go a with him. human. Well, before you all go, I found something on the body. What you got? So, before we left, I got a sending stone as part of the reason I came here. And it was to contact another sending stone where I just found another sending stone that is the same color as my sending stone. And do we know what that means? Well, it was the party that was supposed to investigate above uh, the at the camp. Why the wood wasn't coming? The one the mayor said. Ah, uh, the the lumber mill. Yeah. So this this... the party before us. Yeah. Well, shit. So we're still going in, or we're not? Bad news is that guy's dead. Good news is I have a complete set of sending stones. Let's do it. I'm down to go in. That was an extremely laughable moment, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just don't want to get near Rowan, because he probably smells like a putrid guy. Look, I have I, that someone... eye in my pocket now. Someone uh, wants some sight. Let's do this. Can I wash my hands off in the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have COVID. Don't wash your hands. You're already infected. Oh, no. I'll, uh, I'll take the lead. Because I got dark vision. I'm pretty sure can, further than anyone else. Can I rinse this eyeball out before we go in there? Yeah. Um, yeah, the eyeball's already pretty severely decayed. I'm still keeping it. <laughs> Well, it's you're healthy. Awesome. You're healthy mentally. We we get that. Uh, uh, yeah, you can. Off and let's go in. Yeah. You you can rinse and wash anything you guys want. You're a good mom, Rachel. Oh, uh, once. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> I'll once my you, hands off. Once you guys have finished cleaning your various items, um, hands. you uh, <laughs> you uh, head I, into like... the darkness. Who's going in first? Sam I'll said he was. Yeah, Sif will go first. She has dark vision 120. Oh, there feet. we go. Sounds I'd good. Like to stealth before we go in there, or as we're going in. Oh, uh, that's fine. Roll stealth check. Um, Sif, give me an investigation roll. <laughs> a nine. Wow, we're doing really good. We're very stealthy. Man. I say you all. I said me. I'm hiding behind Reshi. You're rolling. Oh, good luck. Amazingly no tonight. I don't need you to have stealth. I just need you to be in front of me. Actually, Two and fives. Nope, What'd you get I on that seven. roll, Sam? I get a seven. Are we are we stealth rolling? Uh, physical roll. Well, that's a one. That's a one. That's a one. Don't so uh, plus two. Plus two. All right. Um, <clears throat> you uh, it's uh. It's a little difficult. Are you going in in the dark? Or are you going to use a lantern or torches or anything like that? Because that will affect how that uh, investigation roll goes. Um, I'm going in the dark because it doesn't make a difference. I can see further in the dark than I can in regular light. Devil sight. It's uh, weird. That's fair. You're the devil. Um, then in that case, uh, you, you get, uh, the, the beginning stairs covered in moss, you know, they're damp, some of the mist gets blown back up in there, you know, into the, into the tunnel. Um, but, uh, after, you know, a few steps, um, uh, it begins to dry out, um, but, uh, 
you uh, you do see the occasional spotted discoloration. Uh, you can't see what colors they are because uh, you know, and this is really dark in here. And with your dark vision, you do see as if it were dim light, but everything is black and white. Um, so you're not uh, it is it doesn't quite look like um striations of like marble or stone or anything like that it definitely looks like spatter or droplets or something but uh you can't really tell what it is because everything is in black and white for you um i would see in color <laughs> devil sight you can see normally in darkness both magical and non-magical uh, i thought you just had dark vision yeah sorry about that oh uh, well, I, I got it... super dark vision basically in that case, it's uh, kind of a rust brown color at this point. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it, you think at one point it was probably crimson, but has. So it might have been our friend's blood. Ah. Uh, huh. Okay. And in fact, it uh, as you go towards the top of this tunnel, uh, there's more. Sp Batter at the top than there was at the bottom. Um, <laughs> because I'm a little weary uh, mm -hmm. and not comfortable with this, I am going to put a hand on Rowan's shoulder and I will cast False Life and I will do the same for myself. You want me to do a separate roll for each or you just want it to be one roll for the. <clears throat> I actually realize I have dark vision. Okay. False life? That's a uh, first level spell? It is a first level spell. I can do it at will because of my elder education. Oh, dang. Uh, yeah, it would be two castings, so two two okay. rolls. Rowan, uh, you seem to like the color uh, green there, so you will be the green die. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's D4 plus. Okay, my bad. Wrong type of die. Let's get a d4 instead. Okay, so I will get uh, 8, and he will get 6. Temporary health points. Not bad. So there should be a box for temporary hit points on your character sheet there. Uh, Rowan, you can okay. type that. What was it, 6 in uh, for you? Type that yeah. uh, so what that means is if you were to take damage uh, subtract the damage from your temporary hit points before subtracting it from your normal hit points god where is that at <clears throat> it's right uh, under your regular ones in the character sheet yep right in the middle there's like a big old two two kind of big boxes oh yeah yeah, yeah. I see, I see, I see. Okay. to the left of bonds Four. there six Six. Yeah, you got ah, six. Ah, nice. So yeah, ba basically your your effective hit points have just gone up by six. Uh, so when one once you lose them, they're gone. Uh, but you know it's a buffer so that you don't actually take injuries if you get attacked. Um, at least until they're gone. Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, I would on. like to I'm... go for it. Go for it. I would like to cast aid on Flav, Reshi, and myself. Let's okay. get it. I'm, I'm truly intrigued. I you want to toss I that up? I was gonna say, do you want to toss that up in uh in the chat? There we go. Uh, the spell bolsters allies in toughness and resolve. She's up to three creatures in this range. Uh, each target's hit point maximum and current hit points increase by five uh, for the duration of the last eight hours. Holy hell. Um, That's a hell of a spell. Who are the three people again? Yourself and who else? Reshi mm -hmm. and uh, Fane. Fane, gotcha. Um, I, will, I will also step over to Fane and I'll give him a false life. A what? Uh, I'm gonna give you some temporary hit points. So I get double? No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, so five plus four. Oh, that's the wrong die again. I keep making that mistake. <laughs> give me a second. Uh, he also gets six. Six. All right. So Flav, for you, put six under temporary HP. 
you will use those before you use any off your normal amount of HP. And then add five to your actual hit points. So the in the box above temporary HP. Hmm. <clears throat> it's the best I can give everybody. I'm just really worried. Uh, there's there's lots of blood on the ground, and uh, the, the 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 spatters up here at the top of the stairs. Meaning whatever hit him probably hit him here. Can I roll another <clears throat> stealth check to try and stealth myself? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Hey, getting better. There you go. 19, uh, you are very stealthy in this darkness. <clears throat> can, can I be a sneaky boy, too? You can certainly try. <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna be so sneaky. I say that. I say that before, before I try to be sneaky. <laughs> if you uh, that will be sad. <laughs> if he rolls a nat 20 on this, that'd be so great. Where is it? I'm looking. There it is. All right. Stealth. <laughs> You're a lot more sneakier than I thought you were going to be. <laughs> I was really waiting for you to, like, roll, like, a four and just be like, you're thinking like you're whispering i'm gonna be sneaky you're just like hey guys i'm sneaking too <laughs> but yeah uh you're relatively sneaky uh you guys reach the top of the stairs uh it's not like there's blood spattered like all over the walls or anything here it's just the trail is a bit thicker at the top of the stairs uh once you press like you get to the top of the stairs um and you head out uh back into the daylight um, you, you see the, the trail kind of, uh, I would say, <laughs> trail off, um, and then pick up here and there, uh, on the road. Again, it, it looks like it's old blood, so it's, you know, brown in spots, um, I want to roll but there, there hasn't been any rain here, uh, in the past couple of weeks, as far as you guys know, and, um... Now that you guys are above the waterfall, there's not all that churning spi uh, water spilling everywhere. So the uh, the area up here is a lot more untouched uh, than what it was down uh, at the bottom of the staircase. I'd like to roll an investigation check. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, with a 12... Uh, you know that uh, the rate of bleeding was... Um, sporadic. Uh, you think that maybe uh, something or the the guy may have done something. Um, perhaps he tripped going down the stairs and opened a wound or something. Uh, the trail at the top of the stairs is much more hit or miss. Uh, it was like as if uh, maybe he like bandaged or something, um, or the just that the bleeding was rather slow and uh, sporadic at times. Um, but uh, as you guys travel along um, following this blood trail, um, it takes you a little bit. It seems like this guy has like had a... If this is even... Assuming this is his blood. I mean, it would make sense if it was. So... Um, <clears throat> following this blood trail it stays on the road um towards the logging camp um you follow it for a day day and a half two days um you're about a day out and uh from the from the trail uh, from the campsite rather uh and it consistently gets heavier and heavier um the you're like i said about a day out now um, your rests and everything are going fine. Um, as you make your final day's journey, uh, you can tell that the blood trail is, like, very, getting much, much heavier at this point. It's no longer sporadic, uh, in its drizzle. It is a, a constant tiny little trail. And, um, once you can see the logging camp's walls 
off in the distance. Uh, the trail is very heavy at this point. Um, you guys want you to make one last perception check before I turn it over to you guys and let you do things. It'll be a seven for me, boss. Seven, a nine, another nine. Um, uh, sure. Uh, 14 and an 11. Uh, Damu, you, you can see, uh, off in the distance in front of you, um, where it happened. You can see, like, some scuff marks in the dirt, um, a large brown pool in this sort of tan dirt color, um, it, you definitely think that whatever happened to this guy happened to him maybe 20 yards out uh, from the walls of this logging camp. Um. I tell the rest of my party, looks like it went down over there. No, 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 no. Uh, th we, we go there. We go there. Let's go. I'm down. I want to do a stealth. <laughs> stealthy stealth. Stealthy. He finally got one. <laughs> I'm was shit compared to yours. I want to remain uh, stealth for the duration until shit happens. With that roll. Oh, look at that! You had a foreign stealth. What is? <laughs> and it gets that's funny. <laughs> oh god, I I hope this doesn't go terrible, but I suppose I'll try and be stealthy about it. Twenty three, I guess. Not twenty. I don't know. I clicked the button once and it did it three times. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, it would just it's be the first 23. one. Yeah, it takes 23. Yeah, it's, it's the first one, but you're good. Surprise, surprise, the turtle is not stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Was it your shell, or... I don't know. Is that big butt of yours? <laughs> I don't know. We're going with group checks. We're pretty stealthy right now. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'm okay with that if you want to go group stuff. Let's do that. Jaw, jaw little thing on the map before I bring you guys over there. <laughs> I'm also good with potentially being bait if you guys would like to remain stealthy. Well, I'm staying stealthy, like, until I don't want to anymore. I'm just approaching stealthily. Stealth isn't really my style. I'm an officer of the law. I hide in the shadows. <laughs> there we go. I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. Sure. Um, let's see. Stealth. Genie uh, is stealth. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds uh, still me. Stealth and. Uh, so. Turtle, not so stealthy. <laughs> okay, yeah, me... not so much. So I'll bring you guys over to the other map. You, you, might, you might need to zoom out a bit and head over to the right hand side of the screen. <clears throat> I, have to, I have fogged of ward <laughs> this, this particular map as uh, the way it is set up. Dynamic lighting would not... Uh, would not necessarily be the most fun uh, to look at. So you guys, you guys approach this bloody spot, this old bloody spot. Uh, you can see uh, to the north of you is uh, a cart that looks like it's just been sitting there for a while. Um, what looks to be a stables with the barn doors just wide open. Uh, to the south of the road. Uh, you can see there are some 
moderately fresh grave sites, perhaps uh, two weeks to three weeks old. Uh, one of the graves is open. Um, from the road, you can't see into the hole, obviously. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, Enjoy. yeah. Um, I would like to sneak my way up to this wagon. Sure. Uh, with your stealth, you sneakily and carefully approach the wagon. Um, like to in the, in, in the cart, uh, the 14 investigation, uh, you find some, uh, old rotting food, um, you know, like apples, uh, that have gone worm, uh, wormy, you know, uh, uh that kind of has gotten over, uh, all over everything else, uh, like some rope and a grappling hook, um, a couple of saws, hammers, nails, things like, things of the, that nature. Uh, things that you'd, well, you know, expect to see at a logging camp in a cart. <laughs> um, I'll even, uh, I'll give you a little bit more as well here with that investigation. Technically, this would be uh, perception because it's based on your hearing. Uh, you, what you hear is more what you don't hear. And what you don't hear are horses. Uh, you don't hear, you know, moving in the barn. You don't hear whinnying or breathing, you know. Horses will often, you know, snort and things like that. Um, but uh, you don't you don't hear any sound coming from in in the stables now that you are close uh, to it. With a nineteen actual perception check, uh, what you do hear is not coming from the barn, uh, but coming from inside the walls. You hear a low hum. Uh, seems... I don't like that. Is that that's just me hearing it though, right? Uh, you you definitely hear it. Um, it's uh it's loud enough that I think other people would probably hear that hum as well. Uh, you're further away from it than from that from from it than they are. Uh, the hum seems to be coming from around this area. Of anything else that I find? Hmm. Uh, not in that cart. No. What about some old horse you, you feed, the nails? some apples? Yeah, I took the nails. Okay. Took the nails. Yeah, a rope, uh, fifty feet of hemp and rope, a grappling hook, uh, a couple of hammers, some hand saws. Um, Mostly an adventurer's kit. Yeah, basically a, an explorer's pack. But also some horse feed and like a ba bale of hay. All right, kittens. I'm at three hours in. I gotta go to bed. Okay, we'll uh, we'll wrap up shortly. If you just want to, uh, you can turn your camera off. But if you want to stay in the call for a little bit, sure, I can do that. Yeah, that way absolutely. our cameras don't get messed up yeah. here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Just late over here. No worries. I'll I'll attempt to get this. Who uh... who with your real life and your <laughs> family right? and, and your obligations to other human beings? I <laughs> don't have time for it. I'm so sorry. I just gotta stop. No worries. My bad. I'll, I'll uh, in the future I'll try and keep us closer to actual. No, we. Three I mean, this games. is like first one. It's good. Yeah. Take New schedule and all that. Yeah, we'll dig it. No <clears> fun. <throat> Well, thanks for playing. We'll uh, we'll finish up here Absolutely. relatively quickly. Yep. All right, y'all have fun. <clears throat> Bye. Bye, dragon lady. Mm. All right, what about inside the stables? Um, inside the stables, you find what you would find you would normally find in the stables. There's a couple bales of hay. You know, uh, a couple barrels of horse feed that is starting to go bad. Um, I, I, can I, can I, can I take two handfuls of the horse feed and put it into my belt pouch? Uh, yeah, you can have a belt pouch full of rotting grain. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Sure. Set it on fire. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the barn is empty. There's another smaller wagon, uh, one that you would probably, you know, push around yourself like a wheelbarrow, um, as, you know, the remnants of horse shit and hay in it. It's probably used for cleaning up the, the, the area of the barn where the horses, uh, were kept. Uh, but it, it, uh, it seems as though the, the, the stables was left hastily open um there are no horses or donkeys or any livestock in the barns at this point uh, and it seems as though this place has been abandoned for a few weeks but i would like to tell all of my partners about all the things that i just saw inside that barn about it being empty but i'm not sharing my goods <clears throat> pull uh, rowan if you want to pull yourself to the map uh, you go to the journal and then grab your character name and just drag yourself onto the map. There you go. Hey, there's a pretty boy. I did it. Come here, pretty boy. I did it. Why, why are you... How, what is happening here? <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys... Uh, Fane tells you about the barn. Seems like it's been abandoned for uh, two to three weeks. Um, the supplies are rotting. It seems like it hasn't been, you know, kept up or anything like that. Um, and uh, he found some nails that he now has. <laughs> don't forget my rotten. Don't forget my rotten feet. Right. Yes. Then Rowan goes and picks up. Some rotten horse feet. Off of the, off of the, off of the, the cart yeah. here. Some. It's a, uh, it's a, you, you indistinguishable kind of grain, kind of covered in molasses. Oh yummy. <clears throat> um. Yes. Uh. Before before we end here, um, I just want to let you guys. Let me know if there's any last minute things you guys want to do. I want to... I, I guess I can wait till next week. Well, just let me know. I mean, if it's quick, we can do it. Can Can I look into that, that open grave? Uh, I was sure. going to say I want to go over there, too. Okay, we both go over there and look at that open grave. <clears throat> I'm going to do an pers- investigation check. Yeah, okay, yeah. And a perception check to see what also I see. If I see anything that's... All the investigation was good, though. Uh, with your investigation check, you know that this grave has been dug more recently than a couple of weeks. Uh, it has been dug, uh, maybe about a week ago? Seven, six, six to eight days ago? Um, but, uh... No, no, this is a, this isn't, this doesn't look like a grave that something has emerged from. It looks more like it was maybe buried, uh, in preparation of a burial, uh, but the body was never put in there, or maybe it was dug preemptively, you're not quite sure. Did anybody drop anything in there? Uh, just, there's like a shovel, I want uh, the shovel. down there. You want the shovel? Pick Do you want the, the shovel? shovel? No, no. I you you, you hold you. It's your shovel. <laughs> I don't need a shovel. Uh, you have, now you have a human-sized shovel. I would like to move up to the gate, see if I can see anything. I oh, thought we were waiting to do that next week. Darn. Oh, and I probably don't see anything. It's a giant wooden wall. All right, I want to go back <laughs> to sneaky now. I want to sneak again. Uh, make it a pers- uh a. Uh, uh, sand, make a disadvantaged perception check. As you said, you're looking through the cracks in the wall. I got a 22 uh, on stealth, by the way. Disadvantaged perception check. I'm gonna hide in the hole. Uh, okay, yeah, if you jump into the grave, you are hidden. Otherwise, there's not much cover. Although you are a halfling, you can hide behind allies. I'm gonna stand over the hole and just, like, confusingly look down at him. <laughs> uh, Sam, 15, boss. 15 with disadvantage? Damn, dude. I rolled a 16 and a 13 plus 2 for my uh, 
perception. Um, I'm not going to reveal things inside. I'm not gonna like. I don't think I see much. I could basically just see something on the other side of the gate. Mm, just hold what on. About here. Just, just hold on. Hold, hold your horses, Faith. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm not going to reveal the Fog of War until next week. Uh, but you are lined up perfectly for me to actually reveal something to you. Well, hopefully I get to see it next week. It's around the other corner. Uh, yeah. You you guys see this oh. fucking thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, specifically, Sand sees this thing. Uh, it is. Uh, blow it up for. Uh, it's a Gundam. Yeah, it's like oh god, right what up. happened? Huh? You can write on that. There we go. I don't need a dog if we can get that. This thing is. Uh, seems like it is hooked up. Um, to some sort of, like, gnomish something. You're not quite sure. Um, I don't know if you have a background uh, that involves a lot of gnome tech. Oh. Uh, oh. But uh, for your head cannon, a lot of copper tubing, uh, some strange green glowing stuff, a weird steampunk sort of machine um and like there's like this giant pipe that's going into the back of this thing uh the whirring is coming from both the machinery and this uh the buzzsaw blade is very slowly spinning around um and this thing is kind of vibrating um and slow it looks like it's like in um it's operational huh yeah, it looks operational. It looks like it's in idle mode. Is uh, sort of what it looks like. Maybe it's like um, again. I don't think your character would necessarily. No, I wouldn't um, know anything about it. Know I, this, I would just know this, but like, for our head cannon, it it looks like it's maybe like in a charging. Dock. We don't see anybody around. <clears throat> um, with a with actually, I, I was gonna say the other thing I was gonna say is with a fifteen. Uh, you can see off on the other side, uh, there is a clear enough view. Um, it would be, uh, so literally, the, the guy is, like, like, right here. Like, right on the other side of the gate. And then you can see off across the, across the camp, over in that direction, um, there appear to be some tents, uh, with large wooden fence posts outside of them, and you can see on the wooded, like, hanging off the wooden fence posts, um, are, uh, large, heavy iron chains, How and well the, the last thing I will say before we wrap up our session for the night, uh, the last thing you see is um, something move in the tent um, and emerge from one of the closer tents. Uh, it seems like there is indeed a living person here um, who is manacled to this fence post. And... Uh, they they seem to be have been taken prisoner. Um, huh. It is a is a human, maybe elf. Can't quite tell. It's a little further far away. Uh, if you know, or sorry, human maybe half elf. They don't have like the long, the long long ears of like a full blooded elf. Um, but they look ready. They look weakened. Uh, they haven't lost much much muscle mass. They look like. They were probably a logger, you know, a lumberjack. Uh, but it definitely looks like he hasn't eaten well in a long time. And, uh, you know, he's he's getting a bit sallow and sunken cheeks and that sort of deal. Uh, and okay. that, is, uh, that is where we are going to end it for this week. Bum, bum, bum. As, uh, as you... Uh... 
As you see, uh, it seems as though the, um... <clears throat> <laughs> it seems as though the um the logging camp has uh come under some some not yeah new management. <laughs> uh indeed has come under uh, new management right, how fast is the water uh the river is uh is not too fast. How deep is it? Uh, well, not deeper than you are tall. I'll say that, Mister Halfling. Can't walk in it. No, you could try to swim across it. It's, you know, it's is. It would it would definitely involve some athletics checks to swim across there. That's for sure. Um, I mean, it is fast enough and strong enough to, you know, run a sawmill. So, there's that. I'm going to stop Could you I... there, Flav. Yeah. Um, water is, without a doubt, the most dangerous thing in all of D&D. &D. Um, what well, about you know, hanging on to it's, the it is. wall and kind of slipping around it, you know? Uh, that might be viable, but we can talk about that more next week. Um, keep, uh, write down some notes. Think about what you want to, how you want to try and get into this place. Uh, you want to climb over the wall, go around the walls if you can, uh, climb them. Just if you want to, just open the gate. Who knows? Uh, but uh, we will be, we'll meet up next week, uh, nine o'clock Eastern time in the U.S., uh, six o'clock Pacific, and I don't know, will that be like two a.m. in the U.K. <laughs> Uh, I want to say thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you guys want to meet our new friend Genie Bruh, he also streams. He's a fun, he's a very fun man to hang out with during the weeks. Uh, when do you stream, Mr. Genie Bruh? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're about to switch the schedule up, but that's the easiest time to. If you follow me on the socials, which is also Genie Bra, Genie Bra, uh, you'll know exactly when I'm on because I run my fucking mouth on the internet. I mean, my fucking mouth on the internet. <laughs> and uh, San, I know you run run movies on your Twitch channel on Mondays. Yep, uh, I have a movie Monday where we watch an, an actual regular movie. One you could normally see in theaters or something like that. We do a little bit of an analysis, chat over it, a couple spots. Uh, love for everyone to join us. It's lots of fun. <clears throat> uh, and what about Abstracto and Flav? How often do you guys do your streams? Uh, I'm planning to try and get back into doing it multiple times a week, but I'm also making a game. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Flav uh, streams himself making a uh, of uh, a stream based game that an rpg if you can believe it we're testing soon <laughs> Ooh, testing soon very nice look at that artwork. <laughs> and i'm too busy with school to to be streaming at the moment too busy with school to be streaming fair enough uh everybody who's still hanging out here in my chat fulsome underscore art uh i stream or at least I try and stream uh, during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday afternoons. Um, and if you guys hang out in my chat, uh, you can collect those sweet, sweet channel points to mess with our games in the future. Uh, you can join my Discord uh, to know when I go live. That's the best place to uh, get a hold of me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll be back next week, uh, and I will be back on this channel drawing comic book pages, uh, for a comic set in the same world that this group is adventuring in, uh, different characters, I'm not drawing a uh, comic about these characters, but, uh, Yet. it is, <laughs> maybe, maybe so, uh, I, full disclosure, I do have ideas for a, uh, a comic book called uh, the Osram Tales side quests, which would be an anthology series, 
every volume would follow a different group of adventurers. Uh, but I'm currently writing a short... Uh, I've written a short story, and I'm currently drawing a short story about uh, the characters of the main Osrin comic uh, series, called just plain old The Osrin Tales. Um, so yeah, uh, stop on by. I'll be inking... Uh, drawing and inking page two uh, on Monday. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next weekend. Bye, guys.